Chidi the Podcast, presented by Just Chidi Productions. Hi there, I'm your host, Bon Du. In this week's episode, we're going to celebrate belated National String Cheese Day. Yay, string cheese! We're going to learn about string cheeses from around the world. Mm. We're going to hear about the world's longest string cheese. Really? We're going to hear about a band with string cheese in the title. What? We're going to talk Mac and Cheese Festival for charity. Wow. And, of course, we're going to tell a very cheesy joke. Oh, yeah? Joke. Stay tuned for Season 2, Episode 20 of Just Cheesy, the podcast. So cheesy, did you know that September 20th was National String Cheese Day? We missed another one. We couldn't celebrate it that week because we had National Cheeseburger Day, National Queso Day, and National String Cheese Day all in the same week. That's right. And technically, we've already covered string cheese back in Season 1, Episode 9. I remember. In an article on HuffingtonPost.com called The Real Difference Between String Cheese and Mozzarella Cheese, we learn it's the process in crafting the cheese that makes it stringy. It's not some sort of scary additive put into the mass-produced food. Oh, yeah. And according to NationalToday.com, there are claims that a Mexican teenager named Leobardo Castanellos Garcia was the first to come up with string cheese. The cheese was called quesillo or queso Oaxaca. It was invented in 1885, and it's a very popular type of string cheese. Yum. But it's Frank Baker that's credited with inventing cheese sticks in 1976. He didn't care for shredded or cubed, so he wanted something different. His first version resembled twisted rope. Okay. He brought it to parties and bars to get public opinion. Okay. Most of us think of the cylindrical snack yep. where you have the peel and eat pattern yep. or you could directly munch on the stick. No. Regardless of how you like to eat your cheese, it's obvious that this has been around for quite a while. Some version or other of string cheese has been in the world for many years. Yeah. Perhaps it's just the current manufactured configuration that they're attributing to Baker. For instance, in Turkey, they have a string cheese called dil peyniri or Tongue cheese. Tongue cheese. According to tasteatlas.com, this is a traditional Turkish cheese made from cow's milk around the cities of, I'm very sorry. Oh, no. It's very likely I will butcher these names. (laughs) The cities are Belisic and Bursa. Okay. The cheese is fresh, white, has a stringy texture similar to mozzarella. Yum. It becomes even more stringy when it's melted. Yum. And this is the reason why it's not often used on pizza. Oh. The article goes on to say it's mild, milky, sweet, and slightly salty. Yummy. It's typically sold in rectangular logs, but it can also be cut into chunks, and that's when it looks similar to a tongue. Ew. It's typically served for breakfast, and if it comes in a braided version, then it's called... Or goo <laughs> peyniri. Oh, sure it is. It looks like the Armenians also have a string cheese. Uh, according to the website chachilsa.co.za, says that chechil cheese is a well-known accompaniment to beer and wine. Ooh. Chechil cheese is made by heating the cheese curd to a very high temperature, and then it's pulled into thin strings. Okay. The strings are brined, smoked, and hand braided. It's made from fresh milk from Jersey cows. And to me, it looks like string that's braided and tied or even like a coarse straw consistency. Oh, I see it. And back at tasteatlas.com, we've got uh, a cheese from the Orava region in the Slovak Republic. This cheese is called, bear with me, Okay. Oravaski. Krabasic, uh, I think. <laughs> right? They say the texture is stringy, similar to pasta. The smoked varieties have a smoky scent, yellow color, and are saltier than the unsmoked variety. Yum. The cheese has been made since the second half of the 19th century, and it was the only source of income for the local cheesemakers. Wow. It's produced almost entirely by hand. Ooh. They say it's extremely popular to bring as a gift to fairs, weddings, christenings, Christmas, and other festive occasions. Nice. Next, we see string cheese in Georgia, the country. According to the website georgianrecipes.net, Tanili cheese is made from either sheep or cow's milk. Ooh. Pieces of cheese are added to boiling water to soften it. Okay. The pieces are softened and then pressed together. Okay. And then it's stretched into thinner and thinner strands. 
Those strands are dipped into boiling water several times during the stretching process. And the stretching continues. They're showing a woman that has it stretched arm's length. And she continues to stretch and stretch until it looks like almost cooked spaghetti or um, maybe the length of ramen noodles. The clump of string cheese is soaked in cold water. And then the strands are hung to dry on a pole. It says once they're dry, the cheese is dipped in heavy cream, pressed by hand into large pots. After two or three days, the cheese inside is turned and pressed to remove liquid. After one to three more days, the cheese is pressed again. The pots are turned upside down and placed on a layer of ash, and then it's stored in a refrigerator or cold place. Wow. It looks like cheese strings became popular in the UK and Republic of Ireland in 1996. Okay. And Australia has string cheese called Bega cheese or Bega stringers. Ooh. And stringers look almost identical to the U.S. version of string cheese. They do. Bega, not a sponsor. Nope. But if they were, their ad would go right here. It seems recently that no cheese holiday would be complete without a world record holder. And according to DairyHerd.com, string cheese is no exception. Oh. Wyawega Star Dairy in Wyawega, Wisconsin, okay. broke its own record for the world's longest piece of string cheese, coming in at, guess. 500 feet. Nope. 600? Nope. 1,000? Higher. 2,000? Yeah, a little more. 3? 3,832 feet. Holy It took 1,700 town residents to hold the cheese. It was strung from person to person for about three blocks, and then after 90 minutes, the record was broken with a nearly three-quarter mile long piece of string cheese. Holy cow. This cheese weighs approximately 500 pounds and equates to nearly 30,000 individual cheese sticks. Holy cow. It also appears String Cheese has an animated series on YouTube. Really? Frigo Cheese has something called Frigo Cheese Heads. Aww. According to Shots.net, Frigo Cheese launched We Are All Cheese Head, featuring a cast of animated characters. Ooh. They say their campaign aims to celebrate and encourage tweens and teens to embrace their individuality and creativity. And I guess not to be outdone, there is a band called the String String Cheese Incident. Fun. According to MarquetteWire.org, an article by Dennis Tracy in 2015 says, The band's origin trails back to Colorado. They had an incident at a restaurant okay. that included jack cheese, beans, and salsa that was scattered all over the place, and they decided to call themselves the String Cheese Incident. Wow. They also thought the name was a creative reference to the stringed instruments that all the members play. Ah, okay. Wikipedia says they're a jam band, and they have elements of blue grass, rock, electronica, calypso, country, funk, jazz, Latin, progressive rock, reggae, and psychedelia. That's a lot. Time again for my favorite segment. This week in cheese. According to the website 614now.com, it appears Columbus, Ohio has its very own mac and cheese festival. Wow. It's its fifth year. It'll be held on October 7th at Easton Town Center from 4 to 8 p.m. The festival serves as a fundraiser for Ohio State University's Comprehensive Cancer Center. It's raised more than $300,000 at this point for adolescent and young adult cancer research. Wow. Are you ready for a joke, Cheesy? I am. What do you call a bunch of cheese jokes all in a row? No clue. A string of cheese jokes. Get it? String of cheese jokes? These jokes lately are not funny. Well, they may not be funny, but they're a little bit cheesy. Thanks for listening to Just Cheesy the Podcast, Season 2, Episode 20. Thank you. Check out what we're doing on all of the social media platforms. Check us out. Talk to you next week. Stay cheesy, everybody.